This is a YouTube video of why you should not overheat a hard drive. Now this particular unfortunate drive is a um, Western Digital 40 gig which decided to go do lally on me and resulted in me losing quite a lot of rather valuable stuff. Needless to say after I recovered what I could, I came from the screws and the only thing to do was to do some experiments on it. So this is what happened. As you can see, the drive is actually spinning at the moment. I've got a load of stuff already on here, which I've copied across to test it. And uh, needless to say, this could be very, very interesting. Now, my learning colleagues inform me that, on average, these drives should about take something like 125 to 150 degrees Celsius before the plasmas demagnetise themselves, which is the, um, the upper Curie point for these things. And I've also been told that degaussing them Apparently it can't just degauss the thing, things, you've got to actually heat them as well, otherwise nothing happens. Because the remnant magnetism in the machine stops it actually uh, wiping itself. And you can just about see the reflection. Now, at the moment it's not doing very much, so I'm going to set it copying a couple of files here and there. I'm just about to find... Oh, my computer... C... And I've got a very nice completely useless server pack 3 copy it's about as useful as a chocolate fire guard so I'm going to copy that data across eventually paste you can see it's now peacefully copying itself across so I'm now going to mute the cutter with my heat gun of doom Not killed it, annoyingly. That's about 10 seconds at uh, 200 degrees, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to find a much, much bigger image. And it's like all copy paste. So I'm now copying my entire hard drive across to it to see what it does. It's just having a little bit of a bad day now, mysteriously. So as you can see, that was about, that was literally 10 seconds of exposure to the heat gun was enough to completely trash it. It's quite entertaining. So I go cancel. Oh look, delayed right failed. I wonder why. Hmm. It's dead Jim. Oh no, my data, no! Ow! A meeting, oh, what a world, what a world! So I'm going to do a little experiment here. I'm going to unplug it from the front. Again. And it won't spin up. Hopefully, come back on. And. Reinitializing drive. Surprise, surprise, it's dead! So that is how you kill a hard drive. Interestingly enough, it didn't take much to fry it. I mean, we're talking, what, 200 degrees for, what, 10 seconds enough to completely roast the platter to the point that it couldn't read the disc anymore. Now, I'm sure the forensics guys will probably get this back, but um, I very much doubt it's going to recover. So, lesson learned. Don't cook your hard drive.